Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Julie Gray with Peton Physical Therapy and I am a vestibular and orthopedic physical therapist here to bring you my three best tips for managing dizziness throughout your day. So dizziness can affect us in so many different parts of our day, can affect us when we're just getting in and out of bed, loading and unloading the dishwasher, or being in busy visual environments like the grocery store or the mall where you have the lights and the noise and the crowds. It even can affect people with driving and it can be really debilitating. These tips are just little tricks that you can use throughout your day in order to help best manage your symptoms and tolerate your activities with more ease. So tip number one is grounding. So grounding is best done seated in a chair with a back with your feet on the floor, but you can also do it standing. So you're gonna sit in the chair, you are going to think about all of the pressure senses at your feet, your legs, your hands, your back, and I really want you pushing back into that chair, really focusing on all of those pressure senses and feeling that pressure against your hands. The second part of grounding is to give your eyes a visual anchor to stabilize yourself. So, so many times when we feel dizzy, we're so tempted to close our eyes, but by giving your vision something still, small, and not moving, you help to stabilize your visual system of balance to help make you feel grounded. And even though you're feeling dizzy, it helps to bring stability to the balance system. So doing those two things together, really pushing down into the chair and focusing on that still, small, and non-moving target. And you can really do that until your symptoms start to subside in order to then be able to return back to whatever activity it is that you need to accomplish. Tip number two is called diaphragmatic breathing. Our diaphragm is a big muscle that kind of sits right here in our belly and helps with breathing. And so often when we feel stressed and we feel anxious, we breathe a lot from our chest and our neck muscles and we start to walk around like this. So encouraging diaphragmatic breathing promotes relaxation, helps to ground the body and its senses. So how to perform diaphragmatic breathing is you are going to preferably start with practicing either seated or laying down and you're going to place your hands on your belly. You're going to take a deep inhale inward and out. And as you take that deep breath inward, your belly should be expanding into your hands. So it's deep breath inward and outward. And this can take some practice, so don't feel frustrated if you're like, I am not feeling what she is describing. Give it some time, give it some practice, and you'll be able to get there. It's something that we often don't do as regularly as we should, but it's super helpful in managing stress, anxiety, and then also you know symptoms of dizziness because it helps to ground and root the body. Tip number three is using an ice pack to the back of your neck. For about 10 to 15 minutes, you can wrap it with an ace bandage comfortably, place a pillow behind your head so that it's supported, and making sure you have a dish rag or washcloth or something over top of it so it's not directly on your skin. And it should be comfortable, it shouldn't be too cold. And the reason why we think that an ice pack can help reduce dizziness is because we get a lot of information from our system of balance called joint sense or called proprioception and by applying an ice pack to our neck we're helping tell that system of balance to calm down literally to chill out so super corny but it really does work and i have so many of my clients who tell me really julie ice i love heat and heat feels so good to me and my neck feels tight and i'll put heat on it and it just helps me to relax and feel better and that's totally fine it's not about what's right and wrong is what are you trying to achieve in the moment 
I really personally like using ice with my clients to help manage their dizziness and headaches. But if you try it and you're like, no, doesn't work for me, I'm gonna stick with my heat. That's fine too. Just a tip, a tool in your toolbox. So I really love doing all these three things even together. So performing the grounding, sitting back into a chair, really focusing on something still small and non-moving to focus my vision on, doing some of that diaphragmatic breathing, all with an ice pack around the neck can really help ground the body. And I might do that with my clients during the session if I feel like they're getting a little flared up in their symptoms or at the end of the session so that they don't leave being too flared up and they can leave, you know, being able to accomplish whatever it is that they need to do the rest of the day. Uh, it's a great tool to use either all together or separate. Now, I know what you might be thinking is like, really, Dr. Julie, there is no way I am going to be able to sit with an ice pack and do some of this deep breathing nonsense you're telling me to do. That is unrealistic for my life. I have to work. I have kids. I have a husband. I just have way too much going on and that's never going to work for me. That's okay. These tips can be done together or separate. So for example, the grocery store. If you're starting to feel like your symptoms are getting a little flared up in the grocery store, take a second to pause. Focus on grabbing onto that cart, pushing your feet down into the floor, and maybe taking five really good, slow and controlled deep breaths until those symptoms that you feel kind of start to calm down and then continue with your grocery shopping. That's just a simple way to start integrating some of these tips just into regular and daily life. So there you have it. Those are my three best tips for managing dizziness throughout the day. Grounding, diaphragmatic breathing, and an ice pack. If you are somebody who is dealing with a dizziness problem, it is super important to get connected with a vestibular therapist who understands the complexities of the balance system. At Peton Physical Therapy, our mission is to empower people with pain, dizziness, and imbalance to live better balanced and active lives. So if you have any questions, you need any help with anything, we would love to connect with you and leave us your comments below. Thanks guys.